Hey everyone and welcome to a new year and a new video. In today's tutorial the final outcome will be the player being able to take damage from the mushroom. So if the if we collide with the mushroom from the side the player gets damaged but if you hit the mushroom from above you destroy it. Game, Game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey. Okay the first thing to check is on the player Go to the animated sprite 2D node and ensure that you have a hit animation. Now I've played around with it a bit and I find that 16 FPS is a good speed for it and do not loop it so untick that. So this is the animation that will play for the player when the player is hit by the mushroom. So let's just ensure that we save that and now we can move to the mushroom and add another area 2D because if the mushroom walks into the player from the side or the player walks into the mushroom from the side the player will be hurt. So to add this we're going to create a new zone on the mushroom using an area 2D and two collision shapes. So I'm going to add a new node here it's going to be area 2D again created over there. I'm going to rename this to hurt player zone hurt player zone and we also need to give it a collision shape so we're going to add a collision shape 2d to it so that it has a shape now we're going to switch to the view a 2d view and the shape i'm going to choose is just going to be a rectangle here it is and i'm going to put it on the side so just going to make it smaller like that. What I'll do is duplicate it. Control D to duplicate and drag the other one across to the other side. And maybe around about there. There we go. So if the player walks in to either the left side, so let's rename this to collision shape 2D left and collision shape 2D right. So if the player walks into the mushroom on the left or the right hand side the player is going to be injured. So now all we need to do is connect the body entered signal of the hurt player zone. So if we click on hurt player zone, we go to the signal, we're going to choose body entered and we're going to connect it and we get this method down at the bottom so that um, all we have to do now is write code to call the player's hit function when the player is hit by the mushroom. So very similar to what we did before for stomping the mushroom, we're going to say that if the um, body is in group player I think I used lowercase player then we're going to call the body dot hit right so now we need to go back to the player script so now we're going to return to the player script and we're going to add two variables to help us with the hit function. So the first variable will be the number of hearts or the health that the player has and let's set it to three by default. The other variable will be a boolean which will be a flag that says is the player hit or not and we'll start off by saying the player is not hit so is hit is false. Now we need to go and create the um, hit function so let's put it in here so we'll say function hit and we'll define it over here when you are hit your health goes down say by one and is hit becomes true so this will partially work the issue we have here is that health will continue to go down even below zero but we'll sort that out later when we do the death function. 
Um, the other issue is that it will play the hit animation, but it will stay on the hit animation. There's nothing making is hit false. So although it will play the hit animation, nothing is going to stop it from playing the hit animation. Um, and we'll find a way to sort that out as well. We also have to call the hit animation, and we're going to use this Boolean variable to do that. If we go to our animations, well, our animate function over here, what we should do is add in another statement here. If the player is hit, then we're going to make our animated sprite play the hit animation. So that will then cause it to play. But it, it'll get stuck. It'll get stuck on the hit animation. So let's just let's just have a look at that in action. So here we go, and it's stuck. Okay, we're stuck on the hit animation. So we've got we've got to find a way to make is hit false. And probably the best way to do it is if we go back to the mushroom and we go to these signals for the mushroom and we make it so that once the player exits this hurt player zone, so instead of body entered, we say body exited and we connect that so that once the player exits the hurt zone, if the body is in the group called player, then we'll say body dot is hit equals false. So once you've left that hit zone, that hurt zone, we turn off the boolean, the hit um, value. So now if we go back and test it again, that should fix everything. So here we are, we go up, we get hit, and it, it stops. So we can still destroy the mushroom and still get hit again. But of course, we can, we can get hit uh, eternally without dying at the moment because we have no death animation. We have no nothing that causes the player to die. Uh, and that's something we'll need to work on next time. See you then.